up, BC? My uh, fist jeans. Kind of new to the band. They've been around for a while, but somehow stumbled upon them and. Uh, Great band, great band. Why well, love now? This is on Sub Pop. This is a Sub Pop Loser edition. And uh, yeah, I'm digging it. Uh, yeah, this lighting here is messing with me. So yeah, gonna try to do a video here. And uh, it's been a while since I made a video. and. Uh, I want to say hi to my, all my uh, VC buddies, uh, Joel and Helmet Diggy and uh, Garner over at High Octane, uh, Secondhand Choke. It's got a new video. Uh, got a new uh, channel called something. I can't remember. And. Uh, Dots and loops uh, for having those uh, kick-ass uh, live sessions, doing all that psych weirdo rock and uh, Randy over at Dead Wax and Vinyl Richie and Rob Panique, I mean all of them, all you guys, Farley, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, you know, it's just lots of really rad folks out there in BC doing cool videos so I'm gonna I'm gonna probably do the couple videos here but I'm gonna try to do them in little a little bit more not as like one long video more like uh, just like show some records and uh, see what I got left I got mostly kind of a lot of the older psych stuff has been kind of on the Kind of, let's get this lighting down, it's driving me nuts. Kind of been on the down low for me as much as uh, more like modern day psych, uh, punk rock and stuff is what. Just kind of getting back to what I'm more into, I guess, and what satisfies me. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, just got a just a lot of stuff on uh, rebuying back and um, trying to buy stuff I'm gonna listen to all the time rather than some of the time and some so yeah this piss jeans I can't recommend this enough this is uh definitely a 10 man this is like a cross between Motorhead and uh, Bruce Springsteen <laughs> All right, well, so, yeah, and then uh, I got this. Uh, hey, office my lady. wife uh, basically got box. me this you kangaroo. I uh, grew a kangaroo. Uh, uh, she actually got me this uh, for Christmas, and Dad and is sitting around the house. Because I'm a <laughs> man. And, I can tell and you she basically said, well, you might as well open it up. And I saw it was in a record box, so I had a strange feeling that it was this record, and you know, it's a high-dollar record, so I was pretty excited to get it. I mean, it's excellent. This is on Brain, and uh, yeah, I'm stoked to have it. It's definitely a great record. Um, truly, truly great. Not just, yeah, it's a great record. No, it's it's really great, psychedelic, acid rock, crawl rock. So I guess uh, Siegel put out this uh, Slaughterhouse on 12 inch finally, double 12 inch, uh, in the red records. Um, finally, uh, I've always passed on buying this. 
Not that it wasn't good. It's, this is a great record, but I had it on iTunes, and I, I didn't really want a 10-inch um, record. I, I, I could have bought it several times, and I have it, but this is the right format. It's on gray vinyl, and uh, this is a really sweet record. Uh, yeah, I can't say enough about that one. I picked up this OG pressing of uh, Man or Astro Man on Touch and Go, uh, made from Technicium. Uh, this is a great Man or Astro Man record. It's more like uh, it's fast, so it got, it's actually got its psychedelic moments. It's surf rock, but more heavier and more on the Brainiac level than, than anything else. I, it's not like your traditional surf, it's more like sci-fi and against the grain and uh, yeah, it's a really good record. A lot, a lot faster, a lot fuzzier. Um, sometimes, it, you know, this has singing songs on it and it's kind of like if the Pixies were jamming a surf band in a way, it kind of has a Frank Black type voice. And uh, yeah, this is a classic. I've had this on CD and stuff. I've never had this on vinyl. So this is, really sounds amazing. Um, and I picked up this uh, candy, uh, I mean, Flip Your Wig. Uh, finally, again, I needed to get this on vinyl again. And quite possibly, you know, one of their greatest uh, records. It's probably one of the greatest punk records as far as uh, I don't know how you'd say it but yeah just uh, just a classic this is a uh, SST yeah this is a great record this record here probably is basically I think this is one of them that really just really just Showed me what you can do with music when I was uh, uh, younger and stuff. I mean, this band's great. I mean, this is the great era of Who's Do I consider. Uh, you know, Zen Arcade, uh, Flip Your Wig, and uh, um, New Day Rising. That kind of that moment in time for Husker Du, I think was just magical. And, uh, you know, you, you know, lots of bands strive to uh, emulate, but never duplicate. So, and actually uh, been on kind of a uh, black flag kick. I sold some a while back and of course you have to go buy them back and that's what I did and you know I had to get this this is a 80s pressing of this I don't know how old or whatever but yeah this is I mean this is this is I mean there's nothing like this I mean this is a great record uh yeah yeah even Henry Rollins or not if you're not a Henry Rollins fan or whatever, it doesn't matter. I think uh, there's a couple different... Um, yeah, I think there's a couple different... You know, Des and uh, uh, Henry, I think they both kind of do a little bit of singing on this. Uh, but this is just staple, you know? If you're into punk and West Coast punk, you know? It's kind of like the one you got to... I mean, yeah, everybody should have that if you're going to be in the punk rock anyways. Of course, you know, this one, My War. You know, everybody's seen these records a million times, but it's good to have them back. This is an old depressing also. Um, and, of course, they're really rocking. This is more like hard rock than 
yeah, this is just a great record too. And these are all older pressings. I don't know first pressing or what. It's hard to tell with these. Um, I just kind of go off the barcode thing. This doesn't have no barcode. There's no barcode on this. And there's no barcode on this one either. So I could kind of go on that. If they got a barcode, I usually, when I'm buying Black Flag, I usually try to get one with no barcode. And uh, with all the SST type stuff. Um, I've been kind of getting into this band. This is a kind of a odd band, uh, Mighty uh, Sphincter. Uh, this is on placebo. I've been getting on, getting into this uh, Hogs Ear Report and um, Secondhand Choke showed some of this, and it was new to me. So I, I, I was bored one day, and I did some investigating on the placebo. I know I'm familiar with uh, Sun City Girls, and uh, I know that that area of um. Arizona punk rock is a little bit different has a little bit different vibe and uh, Kind of think it's neat um, They definitely sound different and I can't really explain it go on YouTube and check them out um, not for everybody, but it's definitely weird and uh, um, Unique and for the 80s late 80s there was all kinds of really weird stuff coming out and uh more everybody was trying to be different than they were actually trying to be a part of a certain sound it's so, uh, that's what that's what i remember of the late late 80s is you know what it doesn't always sound like punk or whatever but it's just they just everybody wanted to sound different they weren't in caught into these they wanted to get out of the fucking main thing and as far as away from it as they could and uh do their own thing but still be you know you know still i guess catchy in some sort sort of way and people not as much as like how it got to where everybody wanted to sound like grunge and have a sound like grunge or you know it's just like everybody was, was experimenting during that time a lot more I feel than than in the 90s and stuff where everybody was kind of going for the sound and uh yeah I'll play some of this for you this Mighty Sphincter this is a pretty nice copy I got this overseas on Discogs and uh so it's it's really interesting record uh that placebo label in itself is a definitely I, I think it's an odd record record label um do i i don't know why but it just has a weird vibe and, and very artsy and uh so kind of it's kind of fun to uh, check out some of that stuff I don't really know as far as like who's what, 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 but. It's kind of definitely 80 sound. There's a lot of chorus on the guitars and shit. But when it comes to guitar sounds, the chorus is, I don't like it, but. As much as like some other sounds. So, weird time changes and stuff. And it was pretty cool. I like it because it, it does have a different sound. So yeah, so that's uh, the Mighty Sphincter. Um, yeah, so we'll just 
So I had to pick up this, uh, what makes a man start fires again. I don't know, I probably own this thing for, uh, uh, 10 times. So this one has a barcode on it, so I don't know how old it is. So I'll have to investigate that. Here's another, uh, my sphincter. This is, a. Uh, um, on placebo also. Um, this is 1987. This is a radio promo type. Uh, it has the call letters on it written right on the record. Uh, it's got some dry tape here and stuff. But I got a great deal on this. This thing goes for some bucks. Uh, these two, all this mighty sphincter stuff goes for some bucks. Uh, you know. So I got a great deal on this on eBay. Someone. I guess selling it pretty cheap for uh, the little tape marks and shit, so picked it up. Man, glad I did, cause been kind of getting into uh, getting into this comps, the Killed by Death series. Again, one, four. And, uh, number two, the Black Flag, uh, first four years, um, this has got a barcode on it, uh, just classic same shit. That's not my Evans. That's, that's, that's my girl's. Uh, this is a killer record. CFM Charles Muthart of uh, Ty Siegel. This is uh, and Fuzz. This is a great record. Uh, J Lo informed me that this was great, so I had to pick this up too. Uh, said I might have to get it right away, so I did, and it's. Really a fantastic record. Um, really, really great. I couldn't believe how good it is. Um, yeah, I, I was blown away by this uh, CFM. Uh, it's on in, in the Red Records. And yeah, I'm going to play some for you. So, I say hey to uh, Vinyl79 and uh, Maz Nomad and Chris Elvier and uh, Andy's Vinyl Dan, um, Ground Zero Salem, all you guys. Hope you're all doing all right. And uh, let's see here. Man, time flies on these videos, man. I'm already at 18 minutes and ain't done, I ain't shown shit. So this is the Charles Muhart uh, dichotomy. Hi Seagull, what I had to get, goodbye bread. Yeah, this is a great. Really, I've had this for a while. Just got, just decided to pull the trigger on the vinyl. Another cool band called Orb. Real fuzzy. Black Sabbath type riffs. About it. Very doomy, but forget the heavy metal out of the doom. And uh, very much like Fuzz and uh, Ty Seagull, uh, King Gizzard, Lizard Wizard. I recommend this. Orb. Natural. Yeah. Uh, natural. Yeah. I, 
I recommend this. This, uh, this is a 10. Yeah, it's, it's great. Maybe I'll try to play some here in a second. Um, yeah, it rocks, it rocks. Here's another Piss Jeans. Uh, this is Shallow. This is the first pressing of this. This is a, this is a great band. I mean, got some humor. Downright rock out like uh, Jesus Lizard at times. Pretty arty, kind of tin, psych tinge, but not really. Just, just laying it down, Motorhead style esque. I don't know, just really great. Check it out, check them out, man. Yeah, this is on uh, I don't know what this uh, for this piss jeans is on. Uh, I don't know what what record label this is on. I can't find it on here. It's got so much shit right now and stuff. And, uh, yeah. Oh, parts on known records. I got this for a really great deal on uh, Discogs also. It was uh, pretty expensive on uh, on eBay. But yeah, this is a great, that's a great, that's a great record. This is a Nod. This is a power puncher here. This is really cool. This is uh, definitely in probably my top 20 of the year. This is really cool. For, for sure, top, top 30 records of the year for me. This is really cool. This is great. This is just flat out rocked out, just laying it down. It's, it's really cool. Not, and there's your title. It's great. Got some crazy heavy sight kind of stuff going on. Uh, it's kind of like grass esque. Um, and and uh, I think that's about it. I don't know, it's really good. There's some great playing on here. This is a little bit more of the mellow mellow side, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's the CFM. That's quite the change from uh, their DeBout record um, on In the Red also. That's a little bit more punk -ish garage more garage rock feeling and uh, just faster songs and stuff where this is getting to be you know this one here dichotomy just saturated this is more like the um, they're trying to write some songs and a little bit more studio tricks but let's play this uh, orb now these supposedly are some guys from uh, King Gizzard Lizard Wizard but I, I don't know I don't care I don't know who they are I just know that this record rocks um, yeah I, I found this out from uh, Clay also um, I would have never I hate that name of the band and I warmed up for a band called Orb once and uh, I so I was kind of scared at first but sometimes uh, sometimes it ain't what, always what you seem you know and uh, yeah this is really cool Yeah, this is a great record. Also picked up this nod. And this nod cheap on eBay man I got them both for 12 bucks I mean that's a killer deal you know it's 
I have not listened to them yet, so I can't tell you what they sound like. Um, but yeah. I picked up this old helmet, first press. the 20th anniversary gold. Uh, this band here uh, just came out with a documentary this year and uh, me and a good friend uh, Darren went to it and uh, it was really cool. Really uh, really was awesome. Yeah, Jawbreaker. This is really, these guys were huge back in the 90s. Uh, Should have made it, but imploded. The band imploded. And, uh, yeah, that was that for them, huh? And, uh, so, yeah, then I sold some records a while back and had to get them back. So I picked up, the, got this uh, Sex Pistols flogging a dead horse. Yeah, I like this. I like to have this one for my Sex Pistols. And, uh, got this back. This, uh, Minor Threat Auto Staff. I, I had sold it. I, bought, I had to go buy it back from the guy. Now, he was going to sell it for 22 bucks. I didn't pay that, but it's, uh, he's had to have it back. I don't know what year this was pressed, but it's definitely old, older, and uh, I got another couple more records, but they're over there, and uh, um, yeah, I got a bunch more on the way and uh, all that, so I just want to do a quick update. Y'all stay cool with the contests and stuff, uh, you know, uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say in my words today, man. You know, so 
everybody be cool and take it easy, man.